Terry and June Electron have been married 20 years and have a 16-year-old son, Ben. The family live in the Middleshires, in a small, detached house, complete with recently installed solar PV panels, which are supposed to make them a profit sometime over the next 25 years. The panels were June's idea. She feels guilty enough about her own lifestyle without having dead polar bears on her conscience, so she's declared war on the family's energy use. It's as a result of another of June's measures that at half seven in the morning, Terry is heard swearing loudly at the shower for being too bloody cold. The Energy Shore shower limiter restricts each shower to 10p, good for eight minutes in the summer, but considerably less on this November morning. Ben isn't sure why his dad hasn't figured out yet that flicking the shower fuse on and off resets the system, but he's not sharing this knowledge in case his mum finds out and bans his 20-minute showers. The only reason Terry agrees to June's changes is that the cost of energy has gone up another 20% this winter. But watching his skin turn blue in the shower right now, that seems less of an issue. He checks the smart meter display to reassure himself that the sacrifice is all worthwhile. But it's glowing a menacing red, meaning they're outside their usage limit for the morning and being charged at double the normal rate. When over breakfast, June complains that her use of the hairdryer during peak morning loads has prompted the excess charge, Terry doesn't know whether to be delighted that the new regime is spoiling her day too, or cheesed off that the energy company is squeezing even more money out of them. He chooses the latter, as it suits his mood this morning better. The smart switch online service they signed up to is supposed to save them money by switching their supplier on a regular basis using real-time pricing information. It sounded great when Terry signed them up, but it seems as though the software agent choosing the best plan for them is under the impression that they are robots, doing exactly the same thing every morning. When they don't follow predicted behaviour, their money saving seems to go out of the window. According to the smart meter, the best time to do the washing is early afternoon or between midnight and 6am. Running the machines during the night isn't an option, as the noise wakes Terry up, so June, who works from home three days a week, is left with loading and unloading the washing machine and the dryer after lunch. This used to be part of Ben's chores, but as he's at school during the day, he now gets out of it. At least someone is benefiting from the new arrangements, mutters June to herself as she pours in the detergent. Terry feels like he's harder done by, though. It seems to him he's ended up with a whole new set of chores around monitoring what the hell is going on with the bills. He feels like he spends half his time at the moment Checking the software and the smart meter display just to keep up with what energy plan the smart switch program has them on today. He doesn't like the sense that he's not in control of his own house. But it seems like he's just going to have to trust and hope that when the monthly bill arrives it feels about right. To think, he used to find the old bills confusing. Last week, the family bought a new freezer, selecting a model chosen for them by smart switch. It wasn't their favourite. Ben wanted the one with the ice machine, but that one didn't qualify for the discount on the bills. The one chosen for them is a smart freezer that switches on when demand is lower. However, over the weekend, the family all suffered a bout of stomach flu, and Terry has now got it into his head that the freezer was responsible. He wants to send it back, but June says he's being ridiculous. One thing he's definitely not being ridiculous about is the noise their neighbour's wind turbine has started making on a windy day usually just when they're going to bed, as Jane hears it too. The electrons have generally got on well with the Watts next door. That's the Watts there. Hello, Watts. Though the Watts did complain about the eyesore when the solar panels went on the roof. It was pretty rich of them to then get their own turbine when they heard how much money the solar panel system was earning the electrons. It was the noise of the turbine that really kicked things off, though. Carol Watts says they haven't heard any noise. Plus, when they got the manufacturer to come out and check, the engineer found nothing wrong. So she says they can't switch the turbine off because they'll never make the money back that they spent on the installation. For now, the two houses are at an impasse. 